Welcome back. Now, increasingly, investors are looking to use their power to encourage the companies they own to make meaningful progress on climate change action. It means firms are held to account for their actions and face pressure to change the way they operate by big asset managers and the people who hold their shares. Well, a new report says that the portfolios held by the world's 30 biggest fund managers, which together hold some $50 trillion worth of assets, are still not aligned with the goals of the Paris Climate Agreement. Well, that research was produced by a company called Influence Map. Dylan Tanner is executive director of that business. Dylan, welcome to you. Why is there this misalignment? Well, thank, thanks, and it's great to be on. Um, so we are an independent think tank looking at how business responds to the climate emergency, and, and scientists tell us we really don't have any more time to adjust economy. So as you point out, asset managers have a pivot, pivotal role, not only as custodians of those pools of capital, but also to change the companies to get them uh, to tr transition more quickly. Um, so as we found, all of the giant asset managers are exposed to the same companies and we've seen, for example, massive write downs in the assets of BP and Shell, and they say it's due to climate. So this, this will um, proliferate throughout the economy, a uh, big risk. So they either need to um, divest from those or, or change them more quickly. And uh, what our research shows is they're not doing that quickly enough. Dylan, do you think that's by accident or design? Um, I think it's a slow process, but I think what we've seen in our research is that it it, it's what started out as a fairly slow um, uh, kind of check the box thing for asset managers has now escalated where the leading asset managers are really pushing these companies hard. The issue is some of the large giant US asset managers are still behind the curve on this. And until they um, uh, come on board, especially with supporting shareholder resolutions on climate, which are really for important signal to the market, uh, we won't see significant progress. One thing that's very interesting in the research you produced is that European fund managers are much better than their US counterparts in terms of aligning their, their portfolios with, uh, with Paris. Why do you think that is? Is that because of the lead that uh, the Americans get from their government, perhaps? Um, interesting, Ian. I, I think it's, uh, you know, the, 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 um, they have to answer to their, their, um, the, the people who pay them, which are the large pension funds. And in Europe, those pension funds, the Scandinavian pension funds, for example, the Church of England's pension board, <clears throat> excuse me, have been really proactive in, in pushing from their side. And they, I think they demand that action from their um, asset manager suppliers. So that's one thing. Another issue is, as you allude to, is the European Commission is pushing through a sustainable finance uh, policy and they want to codify some of this stuff, climate risk in the financial system. And I think that's also been a driver. Briefly, Dylan, do you think the US will catch up in this regard? I think the new administration, from what I understand, is really keen to get on board uh, and catch up for the last four years, where they were kind of almost not the federal government was almost denying the climate crisis exists. So, yes, we do see signals that they will, and we do see signals from some of the large US asset managers, particularly BlackRock, that they will do stuff uh, in the next year or two. And, and we, we um, will be checking to see that those, that talk is matched by actions. All right, Dylan, appreciate you joining me. It's an interesting report. Thank you. Thank you.